Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to take you on a tour of the 2022 Gemini Model TE all-wheel drive. Let's get started. There's a big armless power awning on top with integrated LED lights. Opening window below right here. Down below some storage with a light. Another couple of opening windows. Below those, there are two 110 outlets, tandem tires, And here is the generator. Exterior LP connection. Moving to the rear, up above, there's a backup camera. Five thousand pound tow hitch with a seven pin connection. Moving to the driver's side, nice big opening window up here, cable, 30 amp plug-in, sanitation flush, fresh water connection, and the city water connection. Here's the tankless water heater. And below that is the sewer connection. Lockable outdoor shower. And here is the slide out. There are two opening windows. Lots of storage in here. And there's even a light. Below, there's some more storage with a light. And on the side of that is the propane fill. Another awning on top. Here's the unleaded fuel input. Let's check out the front. All right, let's take a look inside. Nice grab handle right on the side of the door. Let's open this up. Window right in the door. Nice screen door. And another grab handle right here. And here's what it looks like inside. All right, let's start with the cockpit area. Seats are soft, nice armrest. It is not adjustable. There's heated mirrors, power mirrors. Up here on the dash, there's a USB port and a 12 volt. Nice little space to stash some items. Also right here in the middle and on the passenger side. Big touchscreen infotainment center, rear backup camera, couple of drink holders, a USB port, and a 12 volt. Down
down here in front of the passenger seat, there's a nice big glove box, a drink holder, and there's an emergency start switch on the left side. Nice cup holder for the driver also. All right, let's check out the rest of this RV. Right here, in between the passenger and driver seat, there's a switch, and this switch controls the skylight. It's nice that you can let all that light in. A big ledge area that you can stash some items, such as the window coverings. Behind the driver's seat, there are two 110 outlets. Up here, there's some netting storage and two USB ports. Behind the passenger seat, right by the entrance, there's the BM Pro, which is your main controller. Nice big grab handle. The fire extinguisher. On the other side, you have two 110 outlets, your master on-off switch, and the solar charge controller. Up above the door here, there's an area where you can also store some items. So now let's check out this living area. It's very spacious, nice leatherette sofa, plenty of room. There's two little mounts here for a pedestal table. Across from the sofa area is an integrated TV, which you can lift by coming to the BM Pro and pushing the TV lift up button. And there you go. That is a 40 inch TV. Okay, plenty of room to sit back here and enjoy the TV. So I'm gonna put it back down. I'm just gonna push the TV down button. And there you go. Let me show you what the tabletop for the dining area looks like. And this is what the little dining area looks like with the pedestal table in place. Plenty of room for two people to enjoy. They have these cutouts for drinks. It's quite comfy. Now I'm going to show you how this comfortable leatherette sofa transforms into a bed. First, you simply remove these backrest cushions. You can store them anywhere, really. Then, you just pull down on this handle here. And the bed slides down nice and easy. Pull up on this bar. It's not heavy at all. Look at that. That was really easy. Let's check it out. Lots of room, nice and soft, plenty of space, nice bed area. It's directly across from the TV that's integrated into the countertop that I just showed you. Let's check out these cabinets. Good size one right here. And let me show you that it goes right through. There's a 12 volt in this one, lots of space lighting above and there's even a little ledge up here to store some items two windows underneath this one opens up and pops right out look how big that is nice big screen same for that side and 
pull down shape. Underneath here, a couple more lights. These are push lights. Convenient for when you're in bed. And there's the switch for the accent lighting. Really nice. Let's close this up. Okay. Let's put the bed back into a sofa. Okay. I'm going to lift it up. Again, it is not heavy. Push this one down. Let that catch. And just about finished. Just put the cushions back. They Velcro right into place, nice and easily. Now notice that the bed is located in the slide out and the best part is that the bed can always stay made. So now let's check out the living room storage area. So as I showed you, this is the built-in TV right here. Let's start on top. Let's open up these cabinets. Lots of room, adjustable shelf. I'm seeing two 110 outlets and a cable on top. Okay. Beside that cabinet, there's another cabinet with an adjustable shelf. Lots of space. Underneath these cabinets, there are two lights. They are not push lights. Let's check out this window. Nice pull down shade. Big window right here with a screen built in. And that pops right out. They've included a wireless charger right here on the countertop. Let's check out the storage below. So this one's not too deep. The shelf is adjustable. So you've got these two levels and there's a drawer underneath and it just comes right out. So they've utilized a lot of the space that they could. That's nice. Next cabinet. It's a little area, but of course you can use it for anything. Nice adjustable shelves. Okay, let's open these up. Okay, it's a little shallow, but good amount of storage. And here's your fuse and breaker panel. All right, let's move on over to the kitchen area. This is your counter space. Of course, if you need to, you can always move on to your living room counter space. So there is lots of room for prep prepping and cooking. Let's check out this sink first. Nice covered sink, nice and round. Oh, it is so deep. This is a big sink. Wow, love it. Nice, tall, curved faucet with a pull-out spray hose. And this is one of my favorite things. I love that you can just stow this away when not in use. But it does give you two 110 outlets and two USB ports covered cooktop, two burner. There's two windows here. And they open up, get some nice breezes in here. And they do have the screen right built in. Pull down shade. Up above here, there's this light switch and that controls the over the cabinet accent lighting. Two lights, they're not push lights, and two 110 outlets. Let's check out the cabinet space above. This is pretty deep. This goes back pretty far. Lots of storage on top and bottom. Adjustable shelves, adjustable shelf. The one right next to it. Same thing, nice and deep, and an adjustable shelf. Okay, let's move down to look at the microwave. This is a pretty good sized microwave. 
and it is confection. Check that out. Right below the microwave, there's this big drawer. That is really big. On the side, let's check these little drawers out. So one, nice and long, lots of storage, great for your utensils. Another one below, looks like the same size, and yet another one right below that. Cabinet door on the side, and wow, they've included a little trash bin. It's always nice when you have a designated space for your trash can. Okay, let's move across to check out the refrigerator. This is looking pretty big. Let's take a look. Okay, it's pretty big. Let's start with the freezer. So it's one of those nice sealed freezer doors and look how deep that is. Wow, that goes back pretty far. You can get a lot of stuff in there. So the fridge has one, two, three, four levels of storage. It's got this nice pull out bin. On the door, there's one, to three adjustable shelves and plenty of space for tall items, short items, lots of room in this refrigerator freezer combo. Below, we have a nice drawer, good size, and another one below that, same size as the one I just showed you. Okay. Let's move to the side of that. This is the wardrobe and there's a nice mirror right on the door. Love that. Let's open it up and it's pretty big. Take a look at that. I could almost fit in here. This is pretty deep, pretty tall, pretty good size. There is a rod, it is not removable and I'm not seeing any shelves Below that, there's a drawer, nice and deep. A drawer below that, which is a little less deep, about half the size. Now let's check out this bathroom. There's a door that slides for privacy. Let's check this out. It's got its own shower separated from the toilet so it is not a wet bath. So I'm going to step in. Lots of light in here. And lots of room also. I have plenty of arm room. I'm noticing that the shower curtain rod is curved so you have arm room this way also. Nice skylight on top. Shower head seems nice, and it does have a start-stop switch. On the side here is your water heater controller, a light switch, and your fan switch. Now the fan is located right above the vanity area. So let's check this area out. Nice sink, good size. Let's open up this vanity cabinet. Plenty of room in here. Nice storage for tall items. I'm gonna open up this door here. Lots of space and it does go through. I'm not seeing adjustable shelves though. Okay, couple of lights above. Moving down. Right under the sink, there's a cabinet door. So a little bit of storage in here. And on the side of that, a couple of cubbies to store some items. A nice long cubby on this side. Two 110 outlets on this countertop area. This is a good, decent size of countertop space to help you get ready. I'm gonna open up these cabinets. 
And this one's actually pretty deep. Nice and tall, and there is a shelf. It is not adjustable, though. On the side of me here, there's a window. It's a nice, long window. It opens right out. Privacy shade. Moving down, some more storage right behind the toilet. All right, that pretty much wraps it up for the bathroom. So located in the main hallway area, there's one exhaust fan right here in the kitchen area. Nice low profile AC unit, nice headspace, I'm 5'4". Moving forward some more, there's a, another air vent. So that pretty much wraps it up for this tour of this 2022 Gemini 23TE all-wheel drive. Loved that the bed was super easy to just pull down and it's already made, ready to go after a nice long day out on the road. Lots of storage space, loving all the windows. The skylights were a really nice touch. And of course, the refrigerator, nice and big. The freezer inside was also pretty spacious. Not really too keen on the finishings. I wish they were a little nicer, but otherwise, pretty good RV. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please subscribe to my channel and watch out for some more videos. Bye for now.